every year almost 300,000 women will die as a result of complications associated with pregnancy and the majority of those deaths will occur in developing countries. And this is largely as a result of lack of access to good healthcare facilities. Postpartum hemorrhage is the largest contributor of those deaths. So around about 140,000 women each year will bleed to death in the hours immediately after childbirth. Oxytocin is a naturally occurring hormone that's released in the body and plays an important role in childbirth. And it's also used in the treatment and prevention of postpartum hemorrhage, which is excessive bleeding after childbirth. So we're looking to reformulate it from something that's an injectable product that requires refrigeration to a dry powder inhaler that could operate outside of the cold chain storage system and also be task shifted in developing countries. We were looking for a solution to overcome the barriers in low resource settings, such as the requirement to store the injectable oxytocin in refrigerated conditions. And a second limitation is that the drug needs to be administered as an injection whereas most women give birth at home or outside uh, major facilities in developing countries. And so the possibility of an inhaled formulation might allow that to be task shifted or moved down into sort of more peripheral parts of the healthcare system. Early on in the project, the team at Monash recognised that this was not a product that we could see through to the end on our own. It was always going to need multiple people to come together and apply their expertise. GSK are leading the phase one clinical trial, which is really a key milestone for the project. We need to see that data and that'll tell us, can this be a drug product? So partnering with GSK was incredibly important and it was a natural fit, uh, GSK being the largest respiratory medicine delivery company in the world. We're working together as a partnership to co-develop the product. You know, Monash is focused very much on wanting to be making an impact in the world that we live in, being able to sort of demonstrate something that hopefully we will influence policy and be able to make a difference to treatment and save lives and not just save lives but improve the quality of life. We're really excited to be able to contribute and hopefully make a difference.